was 15. I worked in this pharmacy in a hospital, delivering medicine to all the floors. It was a real responsible job. Boy, you're really hooked on water, aren't you? One of these days, you ought to try one of these. Am I talking too much? Maybe I ought to go. Oh, Lord, it's after three. I guess you're tired. Well, I'll just finish this up and then. And then, I think I'll have another one. <laughs> you know, I really like you, mister. What do you do? For a living, I mean. Oh, just visiting. Oh, a traveler. Could you help me out, please? Sure. I don't think you get enough to eat. If you don't mind my saying so, I think you're too thin. You're very thin. You're too thin! Do you come from a city? No, I come from the country. Ah. I wish I lived in the country. You know, this is a very unhealthy place. Water here is all polluted. They put all kinds of chemicals in it to keep people from getting sick. It's a very unhealthy place. I think it just takes getting used to, so. It sure does. Try to remember the kind of September when life was slow. And oh, so mellow Try to remember The kind of September When grass was green And grain so yellow Try to remember The kind of September When you were young And a callow fellow Try to remember, and if you remember, then follow, follow. Some kind of space vehicle, right? Well, what for? The uh, solar probe? I want you to think beyond that. I want to show you this because I value your contribution to my work. Well, I'm not certain what that's to be. Pure conservation, Dr. Bryce. Maybe the key to our project. Ask me. What? The question you've been wanting to ask ever since we met. Are you Lithuanian? I come from England. Oh, that's not so terrible. Is this a weapon? A weapon? Well, it's too small for interplanetary travel. You assume that it's a weapon. Does that matter to you? Yeah. If I thought that you were building a a weapon you were employing me to help you, I'd have to quit the project. Don't be sus suspicious. I know people think me unnecessarily secretive. If I were you, I'd be secretive. Would you be comfortable in here? I think I'd last about 20 minutes. 
I'd start screaming. Wouldn't everyone? Last night I was watching television. I saw these uh, ex-astronauts. Some of them are basket cases now. Television. The strange thing about television is that it doesn't tell you everything. It shows you everything about life on Earth, yet no true mysteries remain unknown. Perhaps it's in the nature of television. Just waves in space. Do you trust me, Dr. Price? I think so. That's not good enough. It's the best I can do. Let's put it this way, uh, I want to. You see, Mr. Newton, I'm, I'm kind of a cliche. I'm the disillusioned scientist that goes with the cynical writer, the alcoholic actor, and the spaced out spaceman. A man like you wouldn't understand a guy like me. I'll try to, Dr. Bryce. Well, anyhow, I'm a paradua ad astra. I beg your pardon? That's Latin. Latin? You must know that in England. Royal Air Force, their motto. Yes. Per ardua ad astra through difficulties to the stars. Tommy? Tommy? Tommy, are you all right? Are you all right? 